Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Sims Free Play. As you can see, we have no longer got my fingers, but that is not the only problem we have. We've got another one now. Um, this episode is going to be the Raiders of the Lost Artifacts and I am actually doing a voiceover for this, so you'll have to excuse me for any issues with that, but we're going to head and over and to start to do this task. So here is the bridge for the Mysterious Island set of golds. All the golds actually I will leave um, a link in the description from my blog where there will be a list of all the golds so I'm not sure whether I managed to capture them all here. So the first one is to go to the, the Mysterious Island which you can get across by hitting the uh, um, on that bridge that we built in the previous episode. So there we go, we have done that one. The next one is to tap on a monument. Okay, wow, what a beautiful island. So a monument is over here. I don't know what I'm doing in this bit. I'm just kind of... Oh, I know. <laughs> I found the treasure. I wanted to try and open that, I think, but it turned out that I couldn't. That was part of the quest. But anyway, we need to click on a monument there. So we get 50 XP for that. And then this is the Riches of Terra. Terra? 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 I don't know. Um, <laughs> But we collect the things the pickaxe and the gold and whatever by doing different tasks such as gardening, baking and I didn't see what else it said. So the next task is to read the big book of stuff which if I can remember right takes a while to go and do. Here is where I go and try and open that but I couldn't. So we head back over. Oh no we don't because everyone is at work. This is really hard doing this voiceover kind of deal. Um, yeah everyone's at work so I can't read the big book of stuff which was a complete pain and then I figured out that the mysterious island treasure chest is part of the mission if you complete it within the time limit of what is it two days then you'll be able to open that chest up so we're gonna have to go ahead and leave this for a while whilst everyone finishes work because we cannot get anyone to read the big book of stuff because they're not there so welcome back guys I'm sorry about this small little screen but I don't know what happened but this is just what we've got to deal with and um, I've read the big book of stuff and the next task that we have to do is leftovers from a fridge which is a nice short one I think it's 18 seconds or so so we'll go ahead and go and do that I don't know what's gone on with this recording I don't know why kind of this this and the next section that of stuff that I've recorded has got a smaller screen um if anyone knows why that's happened, please let me know because, oh, this technical stuff, I'm not good with it. I'm not good with it at all. <laughs> As you can see, I've still got all the plates of food from the do my cooking hobby. I'm trying to get them up to, like, the, whatever the top level is, level 5 or whatever. Uh, I think you get, like, 5 XP or something. No, 5 lifestyle points, I mean. Um, so, growing some pumpkins. For the weekly task, we need to grow some pumpkins. So I'm going to set someone up because it's something like... 24 hours is it for pumpkins? Yeah, 24 hours for pumpkins. So I'm going to set that up and running. We've completed the eating leftover, so now we need to search for artifacts in the garbage, uh, which sounds really nice. Nice, fun thing to be doing. Um, you just need to go and kick over the garbage can and then you can search for them. Search for the artifacts once you've done that. Oh, and look at that. I got a gold greeter for my cooking hobby. So he's kicked over the trash can, trash can, <laughs> um, and go over to Tau to search for the artifacts in it. It's interesting to see how people play Sims free play, so let me know in the comments. I kind of like to bring everyone over to one house and get them to do in different things uh, in that one house, as many as I can. Um, do you do that or do you kind of, do they have their houses and they stay there and it's just interesting to see different people's kind of things that they do. He's still rifling through that uh, trash for some artefacts, poor, uh, is that Joe? I think that's Joe. Poor Joe. I think we'll have to come back when he's finished, it might take him a while. And we're back! Hopefully Joe has finished, oh look you can see he got a bit of gold there. Now we have to find the third artifact. I don't actually remember finding the first one, to be honest. But never mind. <laughs> I think it just says that we have to... We find it by doing random tasks. So, like at the time I didn't really know what I had to do. But literally, if you just click on do different things, go to the toilet, just quick 
tasks that you can do. So like growing the peppers for 30 seconds, go to the toilet, anything that takes a couple of seconds. And you should find it quite quickly. As you can see, I'm just setting a few of mine to do some quick less than a minute things. And there we go, we find it. See, and then I'm not sure what task I found it with. Oh, wait, that was it going to the toilet? I'm not sure, to be honest. But the next task is to upgrade the riches of terror to level one. So we need to head on back over to the mysterious island. Let's collect some of this uh, this money here. Head back over to the mysterious island and then find the riches of terror, which is... Is that how you say it? Which is of terror? I don't know. And then, because we've got one of each of those artifacts, we can build it up to level one. And so that gives us sort of benefits with our Sims, I think. I'm not really sure what it does, if I'm honest. I was trying to sound all knowledgeable, and really, I'm just not. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's completed up to level one. And we've completed that task. And there we go. Look, congratulations. That was a really quick kind of simple easy task so of um, quests sorry to complete so we are now completed it and we did it in the time period of was it two days I think it was so we can open the treasure chest and we've unlocked the need for steed set of goals which wow seven days is a long a long time so that might be a bit of a hard work to do that task there'll be lots of different things anyway so on the treasure chest we get some different bits and bobs that we find in there some money and some xp and some lifestyle points so that was quite a good thing to collect and probably worth sort of doing it in the two two day time period but you shouldn't really have any problem doing it in that time frame anyway so the next episode we're going to concentrate on the need for steed set of goals which probably won't be up for quite a few days now considering it's going to be a seven day the seven day time limit it's going to take me a while to probably do why is she sitting in the oven she's sitting look at her sitting on the cooker can you see her um right anyway i'm going to continue with my kind of cooking rest not cooking recipe my cooking um hobby and i will see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching this episode and i'm sorry about any technical problems that i'm having i promise they will be sorted as soon as i can i will see you guys next time bye